Hello everyone. So in this lecture, we will see SSM documents. So first of all, let us see that documents can be in YML or JSON format. This is a service in SSM documents that uh, automates uh, your instances. And you will see that how we can just download resources on in our uh, instances. Okay. Uh, this is my second point, which is you will define parameters here. Parameters such as you will define uh, all the things and then you will have to define actions too also many documents already exist in aws uh, like this just see just check this is the yml uh, file example of yml file so this is your schema version 2.2 description parameters so you can define your parameters here main steps so actions that uh, what actions you want to take uh, for your instance like aws run shell script what name you want to give configure server inputs run commands and these are the commands that you want to run in inside your instance to pre-install all the things inside your instances like sudo yum install minus y httpd or sudo yum uh, dash dash enable repo equals to apple install dash y clamf okay so this is one thing next is ssm okay let's see one this so this is documents and when we create a document it just uh, redirects us to a run command and then in the second step we have to uh, just work on this or initiate this run command and when we will initiate this run command uh, something this will happen let us see the next slide for that this is our ssm run command you have to execute a document or just run a command and in this run command around multiple instances if you want to run your command around uh, multiple instances such as one two or a cluster of instances you can do that error controls or read controls option are given here like after how many errors you want to stop your inst instance or you want to stop your process uh, of these documents whatever script is written in the document or uh, you will have another option called as read controls this checks that what is the rate like two instance three instance 100 instance what is the rate of the instance uh, that is going into this process and it is uh, very like nicely created or you can say nicely integrated with iam and cloud trails no need for ssh and command output can be shown in the console or sent to s3 bucket or cloudwatch logs and it can be implored using event bridge let's see this with a picture here is the picture suppose you initiate a run command then you will see the output in uh, amazon s3 or cloudwatch logs you can see your output anywhere then you can notify it to amazon sns which is a notification service and then this like it it is also integrated with event bridge okay so it can be implored or triggered using uh event bridge okay and suppose these are all your, your instances so this run command will work simultaneously in all these instances so this is it in this theory part let us see hands on i'll just show you how we can uh, create a document in our previous video uh, I have already told you about the creation of SSM parameters and in that SSM parameters we had uh, created some resources like uh, prod or all the things we will see that right now okay and this uh, hands on suppose this is my AWS system manager and in this systems manager in the very left hand side you will see one option which is documents this is my option which is documents you just have to click on that and then when you will click on this documents uh, a page will appear and here it will ask you create document also here are some documents which are already present as i told you there are some uh, documents which are already created by uh, your uh, aws okay and if suppose i am selecting one this aws applied patch baseline and let me show you the description this is your description 
and uh, you will get to know in the upcoming lectures what is this apply patch baseline so scans or installs patches from a patch baseline platform will be windows uh, here it was created in 8 july 2021 this document was created then only its status is active owner is amazon you can see content from here okay let it just load yep this is our content you can see what is written in this document okay and uh, version of this document so if you don't own this document because uh, aws own this document so it just hides that versions facility and uh, this is my details here parameter is given document version is one default operation string description is given here so all these things are, are given and this is how you can check uh, a document and when you will press this run command it will connect you uh, to the that that run command option that is present okay so let us create our own document it will be command or session only name install apache target type will be our uh, say ec2 instance only okay aws ec2 instance here it is document type is command document only nothing to change here are two options json or yml see json is like this and i'll choose yml because it is easy to read and you can see that what i will be doing and for this document i have some written yml commands that i need to do basically in this document i'll be putting commands to install yum update install httpd service okay to connect to your instance with your browser okay so this is the command which i am writing and yep it will already create one message hello world or whatever message you want to write here and this this in this dot html file it will be stored okay this is the thing but uh, i have not created instance so i'll not be showing that much i'll be just telling you how we can create this document right so let's create this document now and as you can see this document was successfully created let us view the details from here and yep this is the detail and you can run command from here or if you want you can also go to aws systems manager and in that in the left hand side you will see one option run command and from that you can choose your uh, owned document and then you can press this run command and now we will have to set up this run command also so okay as we have uh, uh, just selected our install apache this document that i have created document version is default one message you can write any message uh, that you want to display on your uh, <clears throat> browser or on your screen whenever you are uh, creating your instance this is your target selection specify instance tags choose instances manually or choose a resource group uh, i had already uh, explained you that how we can create a resource group so if you have created a resource group you can choose it from here so i have two resource groups dev group or finance group i don't have any instances there but yeah this is my option for the resource here you can select any of these and you can write comment or any parameters if you want to give this is your timeout which time what time you want to give this is your rate control and you can just control like how many instances you want to give or how many insta instances you went uh, you want to trigger from here and this is error so if you want whenever you are installing anything in your instance we generally get to see that there are approximately five or six errors but right now i don't want any errors so i'll just put up zero here and then i'll move forward if i want any cloudwatch alarm i'll choose it from here output options so i want to choose s3 bucket from here right so if you have created one s3 bucket you can uh, list that here and you will get to see your output there 
and then you just have to press run and yeah your document will be initiated and uh, that will be applied on all the instances so that's it for this lecture let's meet in our next lecture thank you